Hi second graders, this is Mr. Meadows, and today we're going to make a new creature that's a pollinator together. You've been learning about all the different types of pollinators and how they can help plants spread their pollen to make new plants. Today you're going to learn how you can draw one or make one. The first thing I'm going to do is make a list of the things that a pollinator might have, like a proboscis, hairy legs, legs for climbing, or maybe a pollen basket. Then I have to think about, maybe I could use some unusual animals that aren't usually pollinators to create a new creature. So I'm going to think of some different creatures I can put together. The first one I thought of was a kangaroo, because kangaroos have pouches. So maybe my creature is going to have a pouch, but instead of putting a joey in, it's going to put some pollen. Then I need a proboscis. What animal's got like a really cool proboscis? That's an anteater. Then I need an animal that's good at climbing. Well, chimpanzees are great at climbing, so maybe I can use some chimpanzee arms. For the hairy stuff, I think the chimpanzees already got that covered. So now that I got some ideas, I'm going to start sketching in some basic shapes for my drawing, just to figure out where the different parts will go. I'm not too detailed yet, but once I have those basic parts in, then I'm going to draw those details with the, that I thought of. Now I have a pretty crazy looking pollinator that's part kangaroo, part chimpanzee, and part anteater. It's also got some hairy legs. So this creature will definitely be able to collect some pollen. It's got a pollen basket, it's got legs for climbing, it's got a proboscis, and it's even got some hairy legs. So this creature right here even though it's not real and it's all from my imagination, it could definitely spread some pollen. Some of you, of you might not want to draw your animal and instead you want to build your animal. So here I did an example where you can find stuff laying around the house and put it all together to your creature. So to start off, I found this furry sweatshirt so that can help collect pollen. We also have some ski poles here that are used as legs, and those can be very useful for climbing up into plants to get their pollen. My favorite part is the proboscis. That's made with an electric toothbrush. That would definitely pick up some pollen. So, if you don't want to have to, it's a very loud proboscis. So, if you don't want to draw it, and instead would rather create your creature like this, you could do that as an option. I can't wait to see all your creations.